Hello everyone. So this is a car vlog. I am at. Uh, you, I always start work videos like this, rubbing my face. Um, I'm at work. I am at a rest stop. It's raining, and I'm between gigs. I just had a speaking thing to do in one town, and I'm on my way to another to do a group, which might be a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know. But I want to talk very briefly about anxiety. Of all the mental health topics I've brought up, anxiety has not been one of them. And the reason I'm bringing it up today is because it's been overwhelming. And I don't really want to put this out there to kind of seek support for myself. Because my anxiety game is, you know, my personal self-care game for anxiety is pretty tight. But that doesn't mean it goes away. So just to roadmap what today looks like for you and what it's been so far, I had to be about 50 minutes away from home for 10 o'clock, which means I probably could have left the house around 9, 9-ish, to get there. And I start work at 9, so it would have all, like, ran together. I was up, like, 7.30, and got up, had my coffee, had picked out my clothes last night, um, brought a work vehicle home last night so I could leave right from home this morning anxious. Just very, very, very anxious. Now, I was presenting on a topic that I've presented on several times. It was a, a training that I wrote on personal boundaries. Talked about this several times. Um, and I was shit scared to get up and talk about it. Now, there's a couple things I do to try to mitigate the anxiety. Again, getting up early, I reviewed the program a little bit that I was going to be presenting, went over some of my notes. I uh, took my medication when I got up to try to take some of the edge off of it. I prepared my coffee. I left early and I got there probably 45 minutes early and sat in the car and tried to just calm myself down. Anxiety doesn't always announce itself. At least for me, it doesn't. I know I deal with it and some days it's better than others. And when I finally got inside, I met the head of the program who... I'm probably feeling anxious and a little paranoid because I was convinced he hated me. Just hated me. Um, he was very short. He was very curt. This was a reschedule of a training that I had to cancel on short notice due to weather. So I don't think he was happy to see me. <laughs> um, there was a couple people in the group that I knew. And as I was talking... Um, and sort of getting going, I was like, does anyone mind if I sit? That's another thing that makes me feel a little more calm. If there's room to sit when I'm presenting rather than having to stand, that's helpful. So I sat at the beginning and introduced myself. My name is Steve. I'm a peer specialist. Um, I have a mental health diagnosis. This is the agency I work for. This is the work that I do. Um, here's some of the ground rules for talking that I'd like to follow. Yap, 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 yap. I feel like I just drop a nickel in my back and I'll start talking about mental health and recovery. Some days that's how it feels. And talk went really well. You know, they were interactive. Uh, they had feedback. I was you know, came out of my shell a little bit and, you know, nerves to some extent keep me on my toes. And on the extreme end, they're totally debilitating. So now I am pulled over. I had a smoke <laughs> and I'm gearing up to go to my next thing, which is also making me nervous today. So I'm, I'm rocking my mental health warrior thing, trying to pull it together. But there's something I think a little more real about going through the motions of your day when you're not doing well. Now, I'm all about self-care, and if your mind needs rest, and if your, you know, mind is affecting your body, to take a mental health day, and a personal day to take care of that. Same way if any other part of your body was sick. So, I'm not saying we should all be bootstrapping it and plowing through if we're having a hard day. Um, mentally. Certainly there's times where I've been up all night, with racing thoughts and it's gotten to the morning and I haven't slept and I've called work and said I either need to come in late or I can't come in at all. That's happened. But for anxiety, I, I try to just suck it up and plow through. I don't baby myself with it too much. And I say the word baby not to diminish other people's experience of anxiety, but for whatever reason, I'm particularly hard on myself in dealing with this. I've dealt with anxiety since I was a child. I would freak out when I was in school. Um, if I was sitting next to a kid 
but you know desk to desk and he was acting out and the teacher started yelling at him i would burst into tears because i thought i was going to get in trouble next um and this happened until i was like 15 16 17 i mean this went on for a while i used to throw up every day before school in second grade because i hated my teacher i had an ulcer by the time i was 11 because i hated that teacher um there was all sorts of other situations that made me extremely anxious. And I probably ate on my anxiety, which explains why I was a morbidly obese kid and teenager. And I drank and used drugs later, probably in part to cope with that as well. So I never really got a handle on dealing with it very well. Um, I do do a little bit of deep breathing now. Um, I try to do some grounding techniques and... I'm, it's not an option for me to take anxiety medication per se, like the, the ones that are prescribed just for anxiety, like um, Xanax or Clonopin or Ativan or Valium because they're, they're highly addictive. And the great thing about those medications is that they work. The terrible thing about them is that they work. And I've had a prescription before for Xanax and I abused the hell out of it. I took more than I was supposed to. As needed means absolutely nothing to me because who couldn't be more calm, right? And chasing it with vodka is probably not ideal. So those um, drugs aren't an option for me. They make other ones that are weaker and more time-released, but they're more like a placebo, so I try to just, you know, plow through. So it's tough. It can be tough to do at times. And anxiety is one that's very pervasive and very common. And I know if you're watching this and you're online, there's probably some folks who chill out and watch YouTube a lot who may be... I don't want to say housebound, but maybe a little antisocial. Maybe don't want to go out as much. I know when I'm having a hard time and don't want to go out of the house, I watch videos on YouTube. I screw around on Facebook or Instagram, and it gives me the feeling that I'm being social and that I'm not isolating because one of the things that happens when I'm anxious is I don't want to interact with people because human interaction makes me nervous. And this feels like a good substitute for it. So if you're home isolating because you're anxious, I get it. You're fine. Don't worry about it. It'll pass, probably. Um, if it doesn't, talk to someone. A friend, a colleague, a coworker, a shrink, somebody. Uh, think about it. Take a pill. Pray on it. Whatever you do to keep yourself well, go do it. And uh, that's pretty much, I think, all I've got to, to go on today. So I'm going to get myself together, drive down to my next gig. I'm going to get there early and uh, just pump myself up. I'll probably get a soda because it's a treat. And then I'll head back to the office for a hot minute. It is payday, which is very exciting because the rent's due. And uh, that'll be it. That'll be my Friday. Self, Another self-care evening, end of the week. Uh, tomorrow, I should be having an every plate box that I should be unboxing. So stay tuned for that. There's also a discount code that we include with that too. We don't get anything from every plate, by the way. They're just a really nice deal, and I've had the other boxes, like HelloFresh and the other ones, and they're okay. Um, there's really nothing wrong with them. The food is high quality. I know some other folks who plug them, and rightfully so, they're good. I like every plate because they're cheap, and I feel like you get a little extra food. And I'm cheap, and I like extra food. So, um, so that's all I got for y'all. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, give the thumbs up if you feel so inclined. You can check me and Mark out on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. And leave a comment below. Great job yesterday, guys, with the gratitude list. You know, when you put your problems out there and everyone else puts theirs out there, you'd probably take your own back. Other people's gratitude reminds me of things in my own life that I need to be grateful for, too. So thank you guys who participated in that. And if you watch it later, don't feel bad about commenting on a video that's old. Go back and write something else, because I'll be checking it. So thanks again, and I'll catch up with y'all soon. Bye.